Welcome to the Source One Cisco Partnership Opportunity Review. Andy Moreno, National Vice President of Sales and Business Development, will present you today with a great business opportunity. Great. Well, it's good to see everybody today. Hopefully, yeah, good to be here. Great. Hey, so the whole purpose of today is to walk through the Cisco uh, Source One partnership and how the partnership works and really, you know, kind of let you know who we are, you know, what we are, because there is a difference between us and maybe some of the competitors that are out there in our area of business. And then, you know, so who we are, what we are, and what we can do, not only for you, but what we can do together for our operators. Okay, so I'm going to kind of walk through this and walk through the you know, the partnership opportunity. Okay, so first of all, we wanted to let you know that Source One for you, Cisco, we are a sales tool. Okay, so we align our company and what we do along with your strategic you know, strategies and goals. And bottom line, the, the, the overall is to grow sales. Wouldn't we, wouldn't we all agree that we all want to grow sales, right? So there, there's things that we do that help you go out and kind of like your strategy of new loss and penetration, we look at it and align ourselves the same exact way. We look at it as, you know, um, you know, we're an organization that can help you get business that you've never had before. So we go out and solicit customers from your competitors. And we look to that to bring them on to not only Source One, but to, to bring them on to our distribution partner, which is Cisco. We also look at this as an area that can be used uh, in, the, in your lost category, and that is keeping lost business below that goal of, let's say, 10% of your total sales. All right, so I, we call that the retention side. So there may be a customer group that's out there that you know, that you know darn good and well. You've got a good 80% of the business, okay, but yet you get, you're getting competitive pressure. You have the competing GPOs that are out there that are being distributed by your competitor, and the, you know, and they're looking for a GPO partner. Well, because of the fact that we are your partner as Cisco and Source One, we could be that company to come in and help you in this area of keeping customers that are at risk from being a lost customer. Because there's nothing worse that occurs that when your longtime customer, let's say you've had a customer for 10 years, and all of a sudden, you know, they come to you and say, you know what, we're given our 30, 60, 90 day notice because your competitor came in with this other competitive group and they're offering savings through this, this, and this. The worst thing that can happen at that point is for you as Cisco or for us as Source One to say, well, hold on a second, don't make that move. We have one of those as well. Because then the customer looks at it and says, well, if that's the case, why didn't you bring it to me a long time ago? Did you take advantage of our relationship? Did you not bring us something new and different? So really from a retention standpoint, there might be strategic customers that we may look at together to say, hey, we need to implement this Source One program together so that we're continuing to bring value you know, to our customers. And then there's the part about optimizing you know, your existing customers. There's nothing worse than having 20 customers up and down the street or 20 hotels out there where you're primary, you're, you're not the primary distributor. Maybe you're the secondary at best, but maybe you're the third or fourth supplier in there. Okay. Well, we all know the cost of what it takes to stop a truck, whether it's for 10 cases or 100 cases. Okay. We can help optimize that that stop by by the, utilizing the program and driving spend through the Cisco program. So what that does is it creates more revenue per, per drop, okay, so that you now profitize your individual stops. So bottom line is we look at incre helping increase your profitability, not necessarily take away from your profitability. Does everybody understand what that means? Okay, so if I were to give one example, okay, the example we always use is if you're selling 10 cases to a customer and as a company you made, let's just say $5 a case, okay, how about our program, and let's say those, those 10 cases are items that were on our program. So now, let's say you're only making $3 a case on those 10. So, so you go from making $50 now down to 30. But guess what? Now you're going to make an additional $3 for every case on top of that. So now we take those stops from 10 cases to 100. Doesn't that make more sense to do that and drive revenue? Okay, so yes, you might take a little bit of a margin hit, 
but you're going to increase your margin, your gross profit margin dollars. Okay, and, and that's what we look at. We look to how can we help you grow your profitability, okay, help our operators save on, on, on the invoice side to where we all win. Okay, so now we talked about what's in it for a distributor, right, Cisco, um, gain revenue per stop by being able to utilize the program, customer benefits because they get reduced costs on their, on, their, on their product that they purchase. But the beauty of this is also the fact that we've built our program with the distributor priorities in mind, okay? So in other words, um, your customer, our customer, will receive discounted pricing through, through our program, but yet you control the margins. We don't, we don't dictate to you what the mar distribution margin should be. So it allows you to be competitive in certain areas that you need to be extremely competitive because you're not held to a particular margin schedule. But at the same time, you could also get what the market bears on, on other items based off of that because you control that distributor margin. So that's one of the big you know, uh, key factors. The other piece is we only have one distribution partner and that's you, Cisco, okay? We've chosen to only have one distributor. So when we speak and talk to a customer about Source One, we're also speaking on behalf of Cisco because that's our distribution partner. So if we don't get a customer to come on board, they don't come on board with you, and they don't come on board with us. So we look at it as we drive our program, features, benefits, and we drive it through Cisco, okay? So that's the other thing. The other piece is Cisco doesn't pay a fee for this. If it's an existing Cisco customer and you brought us in, to be able to assist you in growing that business that you already have, you don't pay a fee, okay? That's our partnership. Now, in the other, on the other hand, if it's a brand new customer, because we all need new customers and we take it from a competitor and bring it over to you, then of course we share, okay? We share in the rewards of that and there is a fee that's associated with that. However, a majority of the business that we do today, there is no fee involved. So that's the beauty of that piece. The other thing is our contracts include over 6,000 brand name manufacturers and Cisco items, okay? So it's not like we're a small company and offer just a small segment of, 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 uh, of programs. We have over 6,000 brand name manufacturers. And then of course, on top of that, and this is the, the real nice thing about this, is we have over uh, 250 OS and E suppliers that are part of our portfolio. So in other words, just because you sell them things that go onto the Cisco truck, you bring a greater value through the Source One program, which then brings loyalty by that customer because now we're talking about their entire operation versus just food and beverage, okay? And we'll talk a little bit more of, of what that looks like. All right, and then of course, <clears throat> the obvious is, well, I shouldn't say obvious, but what's known out there is that we're, we're over 7 billion strong. So we bring that kind of leverage on behalf of Cisco for the operator. So when an operator is making a choice of who they should get distribution from and who and what, um, what partner they should look at from a sourcing standpoint, we bring that kind of leverage you know, for them, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about how it works. All right, it's really pretty simple. And this, this, this picture, if you will, kind of depicts it, okay? So the idea is to open the doors with Source One, okay? Utilize us in key situations to get, a, get your foot in the door, okay? <clears throat> Let's build market share and profitability by being able to offer that contract of pricing. So we talked about that earlier. All right, let's, let's expand how much business we can do with the customer, just not be that backup supplier because you know that backup supplier always gets the worst items to distribute and they want it at a premium time, all right? The worst situation to be in as far as a distributor. So help maximize and optimize that so we can build from there. Again, you set the margins so you know what you need to do to be competitive and you know what you need to do to profitize but you set the margins, we don't say, and then again, the final recap is there are, there are no admin fees on existing Cisco customers. So what do we focus on? So we should actually strategically look at these types of segments, okay? So as you see, there are all kinds of segments there, lodging, leisure, casinos, catering, special events, truck stops, clubs, all of those things are areas of our expertise, okay? so. We have products that support it, programs to support it, and oh, by the way, being that we're a company of former operators, 
we have expertise with these types of operators. The segments that we don't serve typically are your college and university, uh, acute healthcare, you know, state affiliated type operations that are in a bid system. So, uh, it, so they don't get into a prime vendor relationship, only bids, those types of things. So really, <clears throat> it's not really the segments that we don't serve, it's really more about all of those opportunities that are out there in the segments that we do serve. All right, <clears throat> so when you look at source one, what's the difference between us and the competitors in our world? Well, everybody's familiar with the, the, the terminology GPO, correct? Do you know what GPO stands for? Anybody? General Correct, so, so it's it group purchasing organization, so it's that group buy. Okay, so basically a GPO, group purchasing organization, their fundamental uh, 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 function is to spreadsheet and basically cut costs out of an operator system by the spreadsheet method. In most cases, those GPOs will come into their distributor, and I, I lose, use the, the term loosely partner in this case, because they tell the distributor, not only do, you know, are you gonna sell the customer at this price, the operator at this price, but you're gonna distribute it at this margin, okay? That's the world of GPO. For source one, GPO is only a segment of our overall organization. And oh, by the way, if I can remind you is, we don't set your margins, you do. We just help on the, on, on the cost side of the product. What we do that's different, we're a purchasing services organization. And a PSO, as a PSO, we do more than just the buy side. What we specialize in is we specialize in the things that operators don't have the time nor expertise to handle, or in some cases, one or the other. And in some cases, those customers come to you, those operators come to you and expect you to do it and in reality, do you have the time to do the things that they don't have the time to do? And that is go through spend management and analytics. It takes a lot to dissect data. It takes a lot to understand market conditions. It takes a lot to go through that analysis in order to, well, we do that on your behalf, not only your behalf, but on the operator's behalf. And we do it in the best interest of the operator as well as the distributor so that we all work together in, in accomplishing the, the, you know, that common goal. Okay, we increase the purchasing options, all right? So in other words, we give choices. We're not a mandated program. We're not one that says you have to do this in order to participate. We give options, okay? We come out with that spend analytics and we'll go out and say, of all these things that you're spending your money on, operator, okay, here are the things that we recommend you should buy through Cisco because it drives a better price value. And then at that point, the operator makes the decision, okay? So we don't have that forced compliance mentality that a lot of uh, our customers and your customers look at and say, I want nothing to do with that. I don't need you telling me how to run my business, okay? So we're very flexible in doing that, okay? Do also, we, we can help drive in a multi-unit scenario or in, in a, in a multi-unit you know, hotel scenario, we can drive that product standardization. It's very difficult for folks to be out there to drive the same brand in every one of their concepts, okay? That's where we help. We do the analytics and we create those standards that, exist, that also helps you because there's nothing worse than you having a group customer and you have one sales rep selling one item to this property and another sales rep handling the separate property selling something else and then the parent company comes down on Cisco and says why are you why are you guys selling you know different items to the different you know to my different locations i wanted the same item we help in that area in in that brand standardization and then of course like we talked about earlier we have access to more than just food and beverage we offer that whole outside OSE you know type um, you know, programs so very basic, um, you know, best in class support. It's really all about the support, the spend management uh, analytics, and then the contract management. We look at account management, you know, utilizing you know, MySource One. We have the tools and resources that, uh, that, that are out there for not only you as Cisco, but for our operators. Okay, so we're very much of a, a structured and a support mechanism. Then we also have spend management analytics. We have a whole team of folks that look at opportunity reports, that create opportunity reports, also uh, some performance reporting, and of course then that rebate management reporting. And then from a contract management standpoint, 
we help with those supplier connections. We help manage that piece, not only for the operator, but for you, Cisco. Uh, we can help drive certain initiatives along with you that benefit not only you, Cisco, but also uh, you know, the end user, the operator. Okay, we have that supplier relationship management. And then we also look for um, satisf satisfaction management. We, put, we periodically put out surveys to, to survey our customers to make sure that they're continuously satisfied with the service that we as Source One and you as Cisco are doing. And it's best to know that up front versus not knowing and think we're doing a good job, all of a sudden the customer decides they're gonna go elsewhere because we weren't meeting their needs. So we do quite a few uh, satisfaction surveys, business reviews, not only with the operating company, but also with the operator. And the whole purpose is, again, to review what we've done together to make sure that what we're doing is driving value and setting goals on what we need to do moving, you know, moving forward. Nothing better than a testimonial. Okay, so a testimonial is from one of your peers, uh, you know, in, uh, in Houston. So here, um, we had an individual a business development manager out of Houston, uh, Cisco Houston, that talks about the fact that Source One not only drove value for his customer, but he was able to set the margins where his overall street margins, his TRS margins, stayed at 18.5%, which is the goal for TRS, uh, and while still driving, you know, the Source One uh, contracted items, okay? He actually got 16 new accounts. So those are brand new accounts that he didn't have before that we took from the competitor, okay? So we were able to help in that new initiative, that new customer initiative, we were able to help there. And so far, uh, the annualized sales for those accounts is three and a half million dollars. So. You know, I don't think there's an organization out there that, 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 that can't use new business. Okay. All right, and I say that with a smile, by the way. Um, and then the, la the, the, you know, the piece here is, it's really, it, we, we are flexible, okay? We talked about that, that. It's very easy to give us a try. You know, we don't have long-term agreements with, with operators, so all we ask for is if we're not meeting the, the expectations that you had on us, we ask for a 60-day out clause. And what that does, it allows us and gives us time to be able to disengage the programs, make sure that we're cleaning up the reporting, uh, any uh, rebates that may still be outstanding, et cetera. So we ask for a 60-day out clause. We don't have compliance minimums. Again, we talked about that earlier. So you can, with confidence, speak to your customer that says, you're not gonna have a source one that's gonna come in and say, you have to do this. You have to buy from that. You do. Those compliance requirements are the other GPOs. For us, we're very flexible. No compliance you know, minimums. What we do is we create a lot of opportunity reports. Okay, so we create those reports, those analytics, to say if in fact you were to do this, this, and this, you could save X amount. Now it's your choice. We leave that open. That's the flexibility we have. But we also, in turn, you know, end up looking at items and we do a review so that we can scorecard to see how we did. And I talked about that a second ago, the business review. And that is, once a quarter, we will do a review to say, here's how much you saved based off of your spend in the program over the last 90 days, okay? That way you have a report card to be able to, one, give the operator, but number two, so that the operator can, can validate that the decision they made with Source One and Cisco was the right one because they're showing savings and then they have more to grow through the opportunity report, all right? We do the contract, uh, contracted savings impact report, okay? A lot of those are talking about, not only, the, um, th these are talking specifically about off invoice you know, pricing. So instead of having to wait for rebates, we, we show a report that shows you off invoice pricing. And that's what a lot of operators want. They want that invoice price to be lower. They don't want to have to pay what they seem to be, might think is a higher price and then have to wait for a rebate check later. And then, then the, we, when we do, do do the rebates, we have the quarterly uh, rebates you know, um, that come out on, we give a statement that basically says, here's what your spend was, here's what your check is, you know, uh, and these were the, uh, the amount of the check. So that's how our rebate program does work, okay? But bottom line is through our surveys, we know that we have over a 98% customer satisfaction uh, and retention rate. You know, once we get customers on board, we keep them. 
Okay, so that's the good news for you is that the hardest thing to do, okay, is to keep a customer, all right? It's pretty easy to convince somebody to come on board, but it's harder to keep them and keep them ongoing. So this kind of gives you an idea of all the different uh, suppliers that we, that, that we do business with that are part of our partners. And this is just a small sampling, obviously not 6,000 that's up there, but as you can see, every single category has a large number of contracts associated with it. So it's not like we specialize just in one or two categories. <clears throat> We've got quite a few contracts within every single category. And then the bottom also kind of shows you a little bit of, a, of the logos of some of the companies that are well-known uh, national branded companies, but also on the OS&E, this is something uh, as Cisco that, you, that, that does not put on their truck, but yet can be considered part of the Cisco program, and that's the OS&E. And this is the toughest one because a lot of times operators are left to, on their own to create their own pricing program with these companies. Here we consolidate them and put them all together for that leverage buy and things like Granger, CentOS, Office Depot, Office Max, you know, things that really for the most part from an F&B food and beverage distributor standpoint, we really don't think about that, but yet it's a big part of the operator spend. So we have programs there. This kind of talks about our corporate programs. So we as, as, as Source One have some corporate programs and we've created on behalf of these customers, we've created these marketplaces for them. So in other words, we create and manage it as if it was their own because it is their own, but we're the ones that, that, that manage it for them and create it and allows, for instance, the, the hundreds and hundreds of best Westerns across the country to go into one particular website that we created on their behalf called the Best Western Marketplace. And then that marketplace from there, whether you're a corporate you know, Best Western or just a franchise that, that doesn't have you know, that, that, that corporate uh, um, website, they now come through this marketplace and, and can see everything that is for Best Western, whether it's, whether it's food and beverage, whether it's linens, whether it's, it's groundskeeping, all those things flow through the marketplace and then it disseminates out to Cisco, you know, and to the providers that are, that are out there. So these are the things that we do for our corporate uh, partners and the opportunity with our corporate partners is tremendous because we have such a big area with them that we don't do business with that still need to be onboarded. So this is not only for Best Western, but all, you know, uh, NICA, which is the National Independent uh, Concessionaires Association. Okay, they're the ones that go all to all these uh, these fairgrounds across the you know across the country. Uh, the Carlson uh, Risador Hotel Group, we do their marketplace as well. And then of course the one that we've been speaking of is the Cisco uh, Source One program. Okay, that's the one we've been speaking of just uh, for the most part here. And also the Cisco, uh, or I'm sorry, the Source One Direct. And the only difference is. The direct is the ones that we agree to that if we bring that to you as a brand new customer because you've never you haven't done business with them that we we talked about that earlier there we share in the you know in the benefit the financial benefit of bringing that customer on board. Okay. So uh, our approach to building business with Cisco is very basic. You know we're here to help you build your revenue. We're not here to take away. The whole idea that we do and our main focus is to get that operator, bring the value to the operator and to show them the value of not only Source One, but Cisco as well. And they were here to build your revenue, okay? At the same time, um, we, we, we do the things like review total Source One business with the Opco. So we're gonna, on a regular basis, we're going to do business reviews with you as the operating company to kind of talk about what have we done well in the past and where do we need to go from here? As business changes, as customers change, as situations change, it's, it's healthy for us to do this review together so that we can goal set and then implement, you know, along with your sales folks based off of who you, who you direct us to, okay? And that's that we can review it by market segment, we can review it by customer group, okay? We can, t like I said earlier, we can talk about the opportunities with current customers and then brainstorm about new opportunities. So it's very simple. How do, how, so how do we get going? Okay, so I, now that we know the how and the why, 
here's what we need to do and here's how you go about it. Okay, it's very simple. We've created a, a portal, a Cisco portal, and all you do is you go to uh, cisco.sourceonepurchasing.com. The portal page comes up. Okay, you log in the Cisco password, which is Go Team, as it states here on the screen, and then you click the Get, Start, uh, Get Started button. From there, it'll, you, you fill out the request to participate, and that's for the operator. So there's a lot more detail as the key information that's needed to pro properly connect Okay, but this is the start of how you get going with, this, with, the, with the program and how to get an operator going with the program. Any questions? Okay, all good? All right, so let's go to, let's go to the next slide, okay? We also have the support team. Um, myself, you know, I, I, I visit you know, a majority of the operating companies across the country, and then I have a regional team that is region specific that manages and helps um, support the opcos in the, across country. So there's there's a total of five regions, and in this case we're we're talking about the uh, South region um, here in Florida. Uh, Sharon Wallace is is the one that's managing this region down here, and she's the one is your direct contact from their op, from from your operating companies in the in the Florida region. Okay, you also have your corporate contact within your own corporation, which is Bernadette Bujanowski, um, and she's the one that works directly with us and the operators, you know, on the source one Cisco, you know, relationship. Um, and then of course, you know, what's in the, in the smaller graphic, you know, basically talks about, you know, the, the total support. And basically what it is, is you have your field team, which is the business development team. You have your account manager, okay, and your account manager plays a key role because once we onboard a customer, the account manager plays that key role in making sure that we're able to optimize that customer and showing the benefits of value to that customer to participate, okay? So that's the account manager. And then of course we have the front desk, okay? So the front desk is really that, that, uh, that, that person that can really answer any questions that you may have. Kind of think of the front desk in our terms as you would in a hotel. You're in your room, you got a question, Where's the fitness center? Where's, what restaurant should we go to? Typically you call the front desk. So really this is what this is all about. The front desk today is a, is a place for you to call in case you have a question on how things work, okay? So let's talk about just a little bit about the, some of the support and uh, the support details for this. Um, you know, we have lead generation, all right? So there's a way, you know, when a lead is submitted online, um, you're informed, okay? We keep you informed once the process is started. You submit a lead, we have a tracking and it's tracked and then you're sent emails to let you know where we're at, whether we've got the enrollment forms, whether uh, you know, something's been qualified, pre-approved, whatever that is, we give you those updates. Um, in our lead generation, you know, we collaborate in, you know, in joint business calls, okay? So there may be leads that we may come up with through trade shows that we participate in, or, te uh, or in some cases referred by other customers, which happens often. You know, one customer group talks to another customer group. You would think that they were competitors, but they do. They talk, they belong to associations, et cetera. And they may say, hey, you know what? I've utilized Source One. You might want to give them a try because I was having the same issue that you were having in regards to this, okay? You know, those type of referrals happen a lot. And of course, we work together in, you know, in, in kind of doing, you know, uh, working on those accounts. Okay, and again, we, we work through those through some of our reviews that we have. Sales support, we talked about that. We get, well, you know, one of the things that we can't do enough of, and I say this with a smile, and that is opco training. And the reason why we say we can't do enough of is because there are so many things that, that, that should happen in order to enroll somebody properly. You know, it's kind of like that work up front saves you all kinds of time later on. But there's probably, you know, six or seven key steps that need to occur in the enrollment process so that one, the operator gets the price that they expect to get. Okay, number two, that the, that the reporting comes across properly. And number three, you know, as an example, you Cisco, you know, have a gauge as to what my profitability is for this particular account, what, you know, what, what, what growth have I had, you know, those types of things. So there's key components in the enrolling that upfront it's good to t spend the time to do that so that you're not having to go back later on and find that you didn't have the right information in up front. So those are some of the things that we do from a, from a sales support. And then of course, marketing materials. We, you know, we're a sales and marketing company. 
You know, we have the support, you know, from a marketing standpoint as it relates to brochures, online videos, uh, you know, uh, trade shows, you know, all those types of things. So, so we're your marketing. If you need a customized presentation for a particular uh, you know, account, a group, whatever, that's what you know, utilize us. We get our marketing team together, our graphics team, and we can help create those presentations. And then the last piece, bottom line, and this is the last slide, is we think we've created that formula for success. And again, as we, a few slides ago, you saw the testimonial coming from one of your counterparts in Houston. You know, we're here to help you grow your business. We're not here to take away from you. So the one thing I always like to say is give us a try. All right. We're easy to work with. And guess what? Put us to work on your behalf. That's all I had for you today. Thank you. Connect with us now and activate the formula for shared success. You can email us, call us, or text us at the email and numbers shown on your screen. Our front desk manager will be ready to assist you. Thank you for partnering with us.